Hello and welcome to another video. Today we have a HDA called Align HDRI. And as it does what it says on the tin, this will align a directional light to your HDRI. So it'll work out and calculate the sun orientation within the HDRI and then orient that with a directional. There's also a couple of other outputs, um, including a point cloud, and it will also cut out pieces of the HDRI based on illuminance. So um, let me jump into this and I'll show you how it's done. Right, so here we are in Houdini, and this is in LOPS Solaris. I'll give you a quick rundown of this Align HDRI node, um, and I'll show you some of the parameters and how to use it. It's very simple to use, but um, there are a couple of tweaks and a couple of outputs that might help you out with certain things. So here we are with, we've got one HDRI and we've got one directional light. And as you can see from here, there's a sun, and this directional light is orienting exactly down the same as the sun. So what you can do is you can take this HRI and let's say you want to rotate it any any angle you want. And this H this directional will take into account the orientation of the sun within the image and also the orientation of the light itself. And if I turn off this, you can see that these shadows perfectly align with each other here. So and what I also, in fact, what I also, is I'll switch out this HDRI right here so you can see what it will do with another one. The fix of that. And that's it working straight away again with a brand new HDRI right in real time as well. So you can rotate this however you want. Something like that. And this is cutting out with the sun. So, right, let me drop down a new one and I'll show you how to kind of set this up. Very simple. So if I do a line HDRI, I plug this in here and here. So what it will need, first of all, is it will need a HDRI, which will go in the top here, and it will need a directional to align. And by default, that will straight away, if I switch this to karma, that will straight away work. How this works is it will find a threshold, which at the moment it's using luminance 10, and it will basically cut out a section of the sun or of the HDRI, and it will work out the spherical coordinates and calculate that to Illyrian and rotate this. So if I go into here, there's, a, there's another output which you can use to debug just to work out how much luminance you need to use for your HDRI. So if I switch this to OpenGL and change this to cutout, what I can do is I scale this up. You can see that this is what, I'll uh, hide the geometry here. This is what the HDRI is being cut out, this sun here. It will create a point in the center of this and it will use that for the orientation of the directional. So if I drop this luminance down to let's say five, you can see how it's increasing the size of what it's cutting out. And now there's becoming multiple objects here. So what you can obviously do is you can chuck this fill holes and that will basically expand the area and contract the area back and it will fill in any gaps or if you had um, any separate objects that are the same light, it's quite useful for that. And you can increase the distance if you need to for itself here. So anyway, you, you probably wanna drop this, you could drop this quite high and you get more of a precise center of the, uh, of the sun, which is quite useful. So um, apart from that, um, what I can do is I can let me load in another HDRI just to show you how to use the point cloud. So if I do, let's say, what is this one? Or oh, this is another one. Maybe we can try, let's try this. So for instance here, this HDRI has a lot of small lights in the, in the ceiling. And as you can see from the cutout, if I load this in, you can see that it's picking up some of the geometry from outside in that window, as well as these small lights at the top. So what we can do is let's increase this quite a lot to move something like 200. And now all we're getting 
are the ceiling lights themselves, as you can see here. So if I change this back to a line, what you'll notice is there's also a light scroller here. And what this will do is this will basically choose one of those objects to align. So if there's at the moment, you can see there's seven or eight lights. So you can hand pick which one you'd like to align. So if you had two or three very bright objects in your scene, you can increase the luminance and then you can pick which one of those ones you want to align your, your directional or whatever light. Also, what might be quite useful is rather than just using a directional, you maybe want to instance spotlights or other different lights around. And what you can do is if you output point cloud, you'll notice there's points here with a scale. So if we increase this scale to about here, basically what's happening is down here is I'm using a spotlight and I'm bringing in those points into, into this instancer. And now we basically have point lights that are all exactly the same location as the HDRI themselves, which is quite useful. If you wanted to replace lights, you could do a combination of using this and you could also use the cutout themselves. So I'll put it here as well. You could use these cutouts, which all of these cutouts will have the same UVs as the HDRI. So you could use the HDRI itself as a, as a material and apply that to these geometry. You could use a combination of that and also the, uh, the point cloud themselves, which are quite useful. So if I just turn these off, I'll just show you. This is just with these guys. You now have a light, which we maybe want to increase. You know, you've got something like that, which matches the kind of angles of the HDRI to give you kind of a lighting that you might like. So anyway, relatively easy HDA, not, not too much going on there, but hopefully you kind of understood. If you've got any questions, give me a shout. Um, the link in the description for downloading this will in the description itself. Uh, download it, give it a play, see if you like it. I originally wrote something similar like this ages ago using Python, but I've rewrote it now in Houdini using COP, so it's a lot faster, so we'll have that real-time feedback, which is very useful itself. As always, if you've got any bugs or queries or you have any issues yourself, give me a shout in the, uh, in the comments, and I'll hopefully address this and update it as soon as I can. Hopefully this was useful and I'll see you in the next video.